I mean, I think a woman needs to bring to the table is a goddamn chair so she can sit her ass down somewhere. <laughs> Mr. Lucko, no women, right? <laughs> No, Steve Harvey says men are responsible for bringing everything to the table. I know y'all about to go in on this one. Stay tuned for the video. With this generation, somebody remove the mic from this man before he does any more damage to the goddamn. I'm just saying, I'm sorry, man. He gets on my nerves. Hey, look, we can, we can jump in on this one because I know y'all want to chop Why it up. Anybody, like somebody, Harvey? anybody, yeah. we need because I'm gonna read Steve all Harvey. Chat, I Steve, know y'all want to go nuts. I need to hear y'all response. Steve Harvey is the main progenitor of the reason why things are the way it is with that uh, mm -hmm. silly book, um, Think Like a Man, like Act a Like man. a Woman. It mm -hmm. really should be called 10 Ways to Finesse a Dude Without Him Really Knowing About It. That's really what the book mm -hmm. should be called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, you. I know about it. Steve Harvey, right. I'm I'm it. Real, 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 real. Steve Harvey is the original uh, Derek Jackson. But with all that said, what I will say is this. Um, he's not all the way wrong, right? So the way he put it in the beginning is, is flawed. We all know that. It's extremely flawed because a woman should bring something to the table beside just herself. That's an absolute. And, and it makes no sense that he would frame it that way. But on the back end, he's exactly right that it is a man's job to take care of, of his woman and his children. So while he was extremely flawed in the beginning, and that's absolutely ridiculous, asinine, reprehensible, it makes no sense at all. The back end, it is, it is true that a man should be responsible for taking care of his woman and his children. Hmm. Uh, I watched the whole that? interview. I watched the whole entire interview. And when he did, he did start off with that, um, attention grabber why are you asking women what they bring to the table but in the after and then he elaborated and said about the qualities of his wife how he felt like his life basically progressed and everything became peaceful and smooth once she was in the door because nothing else changed he was already successful he was already doing things doing shows and all that stuff he just didn't have a woman like her by his side and he said your woman can literally make you over. That part was like literally after I think that you cut it. He said that woman can make a better you or something like that. I don't know the exact words. And I think he's right. Basically, you don't have to ask a woman, what does she bring to the table? If you are conversing with this woman, spending time with this woman, taking this woman out, going to her house, meeting her friends and family, you're going to know what, what she brings to the table. And if you don't know, you're not doing what Mr. Letgo was saying being a little intrusive, asking the correct questions, putting her in different scenarios where you can see how she responds to waiters, responds to her business partners or whatever she got going on or your business partners or whatever the case may be. So if you're not putting your girl in all the different scenes to see what she actually does bring to the table, then you're not really doing due diligence dating correctly and trying to figure out if this woman is for you because a woman can lie. Well, what do you bring to the table? I'm super nurturing. I'm super family oriented, all these lies. But then when you really get in the house with her, she doesn't clean. She's not organized. She don't do nothing. She's laying down watching TV every day and things like that. Doesn't have a productive schedule. So you didn't know that because you weren't being a, a, like a little bit intrusive and trying to find out like what type of woman she actually is. Well, this so definitely, I agree, this I absolutely, agree to an extent too. There's absolutely a difference between uh, putting your woman in all different types of scenarios and situations, which I absolutely agree with. You should absolutely, I say you should at least let four seasons go by before you even consider marrying a woman because you need to see her with your family. You need to see her with her family. You need to see her around your friends, around her friends in different scenarios. So I absolutely agree with that. But that's a whole totally different thing than seeing her in different situations and being all up in her business, right? You you got to oh, know yeah. all her Not emotional all everything. Her this, what no. Stu and Sally and Sarah is doing? That's that's I'm like totally saying, different. No, not about that. I agree. I like you want to see her at least. You're gonna meet her child. You're gonna date her for real and things like that. So you want to see how she is as mother. You want to see if you come over if she cooks. You know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna basically see what she brings to the table. You're gonna say, hey, you know. This woman actually is impressive. And this woman actually, I'm taking a, a huge liking to her because I feel like she is, you know, a, a, a plus for me. Like she will add value for me. So you guys are the ones that should, should be looking, looking at the value because 
it's abstract for women. And yeah, you should take you hit the nail. It. You hit the nail on the head right there. Yeah. Is that is abstract for a woman? There are intangible things that a woman brings to the table. So asking a woman, what do you bring to the table in itself is stupid because she's not going to be able to tell you because one, women aren't necessarily good at communicating. And two, they have a narcissistic side of seeing their value. So they're always going to, they're always going to overvalue themselves. You ask a woman what her, you know, like rate yourself one to 10, they're going to say I'm a 10. They're not a damn 10. So listening to a woman talk is never the way to go. You got to pay attention to how she moves, how she operates, and you got to observe her. And like uh, Israel said, that four season shit is a real thing. You get to a woman's third season, think you know her. Oh, that four season going to tear your ass up if you ain't paying attention. So the bottom line is you can't sit here and ask a woman what does she bring to the table because she's going to give you all kinds of stupid shit that she don't even bring to the damn table because that's what women do. Women over exaggerate life. You know, that's just who they are. So all together, when I look at Steve Harvey, I just be like, bro, like you are uh, you are hurting black people with all this dumb shit. Oh, uh, she don't bring nothing to the table. She can make another you shut up because that doesn't matter unless she's the right woman for you. So if you make a because the thing about it, if, if you make another you and she's stupid and crazy and dysfunctional, she's going to make a bizarro you that is crazy and dysfunctional. So but she can't she, make another you, but she can make a worse you. It's but a gender. Gender. Think of it in a positive right. light, though. All right, y'all. I want to I want to show y'all something real quick, because <laughs> I'm really tired of this discussion about what you bring to the table. I want to show y'all this real quick. Hold on. Okay. All right. This is a chart. An income chart. Yeah, Let me see if see I can zoom shit. in. Yeah. I oh, I've say, seen this damn. part already. Yeah. All right. I this actually is seen an income this. chart. Oh, damn. What can you see that and in, enlarging it? Yeah. Let me. Let me. Zoom we at the bottom. <laughs> we all the way at the bottom. <laughs> so, this is sixteen other ethnic groups that are above African Americans in America in income. All right. Mm. And the reason mm. I showed this is because what these other sixteen groups have in common is that they don't ask this goddamn question. Mm -hmm. This is not this is a non-starter question. We mm -hmm. have to stop this stupid ass question. What does she bring to the table? In fact, they answer the question before they even get married. Does anybody know what the answer to the question is? I am the table. No, whatever your husband. <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> whatever no, your husband requires for you to bring. That's that is right. what you bring. That's right. If he requires what you to go to work, go to work. If he requires you to stay home so the children have a better quality of life stay home mm -hmm. they have the question answered bring whatever needs to be done to advance life faster Correct. yourself and for your children i never in my life imagined That's myself with a woman that did not have the same level of productivity as me and that is mm -hmm. why i have more than 99 percent of my peers nobody can down talk me for that unless you make mm -hmm. more money than me nobody can talk more shit nobody can talk shit to me because i planned mm -hmm. it out this way all these no, other people are killing us because they ain't work. They ain't talking about this shit like that. It's crazy to me. But yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think a woman needs to bring to the table is a goddamn chair so she can sit her ass down somewhere. <laughs> Mr. Lucka, no women, right? No <laughs> point about this. I mean, she might be crazy. <laughs> Honestly, like I get what y'all saying, but I think he was just talking about on a financial sense. He's just saying. I mean, no. I'm going to provide for her and no, he wasn't. I'm going to provide for her and the kids that she bring that we that we bring. And that's it. You just need to look pretty, sit down or whatever and learn how to be feminine. Like, you know, that's it. I don't know why y'all taking it so deep. 